very very juicy breakfast sausage patty look at that juicy I'm gonna make a uh, breakfast sausage so we have uh, thyme nutmeg and then garlic paste and then sea salt black pepper maple syrup and sage oil and 1.5 kilos of ground pork sage two tablespoon and then thyme about one and a half teaspoon and a little bit of nutmeg and then one and a half teaspoon of black pepper two teaspoon of sea salt garlic paste and two tablespoon of uh, maple syrup so take dry it and a uh, little bit of uh, olive oil maybe about two tablespoon two tablespoon mix it all up season at least 15 minutes actually overnight will be better so it's still a little bit harder uh, it's frozen but I'm gonna mix it up and then leave it until tomorrow morning and then we're gonna eat it for breakfast sausage for a brunch that's it so the breakfast sausage has been seasoned since last night 9 o'clock 9 p.m. to now it's about 10 30 so it's a good 12 hours you don't need to season so long if you have about at least half an hour that'd be great but the longer actually better and I add in a little bit more thyme uh, nutmeg and salt to give a little bit more savory so this will give you I just taste a little bit it tasted exactly if not even better than what we normally like to eat the uh, McDonald's breakfast sausage muffin this is the sausage breakfast sausage so without all any of the fillers or the preservative it's just pure herbs it's beautiful burger meal so I guess gonna put a spoon and then I just cut it into a smaller bowl something like this and then the same way as making burger just heat it heat it heat it heat it heat it slowly Heat it a bit, heat it. So, and then you have one burger. So you just keep doing it. All right, so about this size, then you can put it here. Let's do another one. So the same, use a spoon, just cut. It's about there. Do it slowly, slow mo. So give a little bit of the bounce so there you go thank you able to make with about three over pounds of a uh, minced pork uh, which is about 1.5 kilos and uh, I made about 19 so if you kind of make it a bit smaller you can make up to 20 so it's about 20 over breakfast sausage so when you cook it you just kind of press it down and make it flatter and bigger, it will be lovely. So I'm gonna eat part of it and gonna freeze part of it up to about two three weeks. You can eat it. Breakfast sausage. So I'm gonna pan fry the sausage. So always press it down a little bit. About Two to three minutes per side should be alright. Press it down a little bit more, flatten it a little bit more. There's a McDonald's style, no fillers. That's the sausage with muffin. Press it down. What about two to three minutes per side?
15 minutes, you turn over, it should be golden brown, look at that. Breakfast sausage, another two more minutes to go. So check if it's uh, cooked through. So if the liquid is clear, yeah, it's clear, it's really, it's done. Oops, so on this way and then press it down with spatula, maybe that's much easier. Yep, that's what we do. You get a nice real line. So two minutes. Just turn over. Wow, golden brown. Diners. Yes, pretty done. Uh, maybe a bit more. I need to fry a little bit more. I want it to pass. 30 seconds. Ready? Four more to go. These are all the all the herbs that is gathered below. But the oil is still pretty clean. You can see that. So just see the nut taste, press it down, flesh in it. It looks almost like a hamburger. Another two more minutes to go. Another 30 seconds. The burger. Topic patty. Here we go. Oh, the lovely breakfast sausage and Uh, assemble your own sandwich lunch well done egg breakfast sausage patty some uh, squashed avocado with truffle mushroom paste and salad greens here we go yes the beautiful assemble yourself sausage sandwich for lunch Assemble your own sandwich lunch. Well done, egg, breakfast sausage patty, some uh, squashed avocado with 
truffle mushroom paste and salad greens here we go yes the beautiful assemble yourself sausage sandwich for lunch 